Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you a little bit of my new planner that I got. So in a previous video I showed you this planner, a happy planner that I'm using for my social media content tracking. But I thought that since I'm starting school at the end of August, I could use a new planner, an academic planner. So I went to Michael's and I have to mention they had a sale plus I had a coupon that worked on sale items. So I went into Michael's to get another happy planner for my academic planning. So I went in and I found something that I was looking for. So let me show you that right now. Three new planners. I decided to get three new planners. So there are four planners in my lineup and I'm going to show you what I'm going to use all of them for. And then we're going to decorate the my academic planner because that one is different than the other one. So let's get into it. This one is my social media content tracking. In a previous video, I decorated this spread. So if you wanna see that, please check out that video. I've been using this planner for a week and I love it. That's why I decided to get another happy planner. So for my academic planner, I have this one, which is a horizontal layout, which I'm nervous about, but I do need a horizontal layout for academic planning, but I'm nervous about how I'm going to decorate it because I've heard that trying to decorate a horizontal planner is difficult. So we're going to do that today and see how that works out. So I'm excited about that. A little bit nervous, but excited. Then we have this next planner, which will be my everyday daily life planner. This is the one I'm going to use for everything. And then I have the classic size. Oh, these three are the big size. These, the wild styled and the be bold mosaic are big vertical layouts. This one is a big horizontal layout. And this one is a classic vertical layout. So this one is going to be my health and wellness planner. So that's what I'm going to use these planners for. But today we're just going to work in the horizontal planner. So let's move these to the side. I told you, I, it's hard for me to do things in moderation. Once I find something that I love, I go crazy. And Michael's always gets me with those coupons. Those coupons that work on all items, including sale items, I just, I cannot pass them up. So, and after I purchased those planners at Michael's, I got an email about another coupon that works on sale items. I'm not gonna use it though. I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm gonna resist the temptation to go back and buy more stuff because that's how they get you. And they always get me. Okay, so we, this is not the planner that I wanted. I didn't really like the design of it. And I don't like the rainbow colored. I prefer a more neutral muted color. But this was the only horizontal layout they had at Michael's in the big size. So that's why I got it. And we're just going to go ahead and flip to the pages we're going to be decorating. We're going to work on August 3rd through August 9th. And as you can see, this is, let's zoom in just a little bit. This is not a neutral layout. This is bright yellow and they shaded this box down here, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that. It says thankful for, I guess to put things I'm thankful for, like a gratitude type of journal area, which I like, but I don't know if I like the colors together. We'll see if I can find something to cover this up or change it. We'll see. But 
even though I don't like the bright yellow color, I'm going to try to work with it and make it work because I don't want to have to cover up all the lines. Plus, all the other pages are yellow in August. All the pages are yellow also. So I want to see if I can work with it instead of working against it. So we're going to take these two out. And we're going to get some sticker books. So I have the horizontal layout, horizontal layout sticker book by the Happy Planner, the detailed florals sticker book, and this sticker book by Maggie Holmes, which has a little bit of some yellow things that I could use, like these flowers that are really pretty. So I'm gonna try to use these in here somehow. And we are just gonna get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is you know what? The first thing I'm going to do is go in this horizontal layout and see what big items we can use because I want to start placing stuff the big stuff down first. So they have these. So far, none of these are the colors that I need. I'm looking for something bright. Oh, I might use yellow, a little bit of green, and pink. So those are the three colors that I'm looking for because I'm trying to, um, Actually, you know what? I might use yellow, blue, and pink because this August up here and the color in this box are blue. So I might try to go with a bluish green to try to match that. I like these lemons. That's nice. It ties in the yellow and the pink. Oh, I like this one. This yellow Happy Plans. We're going to use this one. And we're going to put it on Monday so we can brighten up Monday a little bit. Monday gets a bad rap, but we're going to try to brighten up Monday. Oh, these stickers are for the classic horizontal planner. I have the big horizontal planner, so the stickers are going to be a little bit small for this planner. But it's hard to find the big size stickers in stores. So this is all I could find. So like I always say, we're going to work with what we have and make it work. So let's put this one on Monday. Let's try to line it up along the side. So we have a little brightness here. I'm going to leave this area for now. I still want to leave room to write, especially for when I'm actually using this as an academic planner. I'm going to need lots of room to write, so I don't want to put too many stickers down. Actually, I kind of like this little lemon. I'll put this in the corner. Let's see what else we have in here. I'm going to use these stickers. I just don't know where I'm going to put them yet. So we're going to leave that for now. So this yellow strip, I'm not sure. I'm actually going to put it down here in the notes area. It's not exactly long enough for that. 
let's see. Yeah, let's put it down here. And then I'll try to find a small sticker to fit into this space. Oh, I'll use this one. It's a quote that says, the light of my life. I'm going to put it in this area that says, thankful for. I'm actually gonna cut off the ends so it fits inside the box. There we go. It's a little bit too long, so I'm going to use my X-Acto knife just to get this edge straight. Okay. And then we're going to put, there's a yellow star on here that I'm going to put inside the middle. I'm also gonna, there's a pink star and a yellow star. Okay, so that one is done. Now let's look for some other big items. I like this one, the lemons that say, I love you. Let's keep that one in mind. I like this bird. I'm gonna use this bird here at the top. Let the good times roll. I'm gonna use this one because it's yellow. Let's put it here for Saturday. And then I'm looking for some more big items like this one that I used up here. I want something like that. Oh, if you want to be happy, B. These are a lot of quotes, but do I want to cover this up? No. And to bring in the pink that I used in this star down here and the pink that's in the other areas, I'm gonna use this quote that says, sunshine on my mind. We're gonna put this on Sunday. Perfect. I really wanna to try to cover up this blue because it's really throwing me off. So let's find I do like this quote all things with love and flowers but I don't want to use up all of the yellow because I still have like three four more weeks in August that have the yellow theme on it so I don't want to use up all my yellow stickers just yet so we're going to keep looking this actually ties in all the colors I want to use. It has that green, the bluish green, pink, and yellow. Let's see where we can put this. 
Does it fit here? No. The yellow is kind of dark. It's not the same yellow. Will it work though? Everyone was right. <laughs> Trying to design horizontal layouts is so difficult. These stickers, I'll put it here for Wednesday. And that way we kind of have this block down here and this color doesn't match exactly, but we'll leave that there. And now I want to find a sticker to go there. Let's check this other, this horizontal layout again. I think I'm gonna use this one that says dream with all your heart. I think it'll fit, I think it'll fit inside that area. I want to tie in a little bit of this greenish, this greenish bluish thing that's going on. So I'll use this, don't forget. Friday. I'm going to use this one right here that says happy days are here. We're going to use this for right here. Again, these stickers are not meant for this big horizontal layout, so I'm really just trying to make do with what we have. I want to put something else here. We're going to do this house sticker and put it And then I kind of want a quote to go in this area. So let's see if we can find a long quote. We do have these yellow boxes that we could use. Oh, I still have these flowers. This one I'm going to put this one I'll put here. And then I'll put One here.
and then let's still try to find a quote for there. This one says, let your dreams bloom. And we're going to put it in between both of these. I think that's good. I Again, I don't want to cover up all of the area because I still need space to write. But I think I think I don't like this sticker here now because these colors are not exactly right. So let's We're going to save it though, save it for later. So we're going to try to find something else to put here because I feel like this needs something. Oh, I know. One of these boxes, actually both of these boxes. I don't like that either. changing my mind. I'll move this one up. I should have kept the other one on there. I think that's all we're going to do because, um, yeah, so I have space to write in each of these boxes. Oh, I forgot to put something under here. Let's put the one that I just took off. Let's put it under here. Yeah, that looks good. And I think that's it. Wait, no, I want to put something down here now. Down here, we're gonna put this yellow house. And then I'm done, I promise, I'm done. Okay. Did I make a mistake? Does that look bad? Yeah. No, I like it, I like it, I like it. It's not the right color yellow is the only problem. Let's change our mind again. I should count how many times I've changed my mind during this one. And instead we're going to use this one, this birdhouse, I mean birdhouse clock. Good, I like that one. Yes, okay, I made a good decision. I made a good decision in changing that one. So we are done with this. Let's just pop it back into our planner. And 
and there we go. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!